All right, let's have a look, quick look at how I built the trailer track for Wildebeet. The gray and dark blue tracks, they are tonal elements that are not from Wildebeet. All the colorful tracks, they are from Wildebeet. I tend to use a double reverb, a long reverb that does more sound design stuff and then I, at the moment I have the 770 Pro and in the send on most of the tracks. The choir, it's the, I'm using Voices of Prague in Czech, Boys Choir from Verharmonic. And these are all sounds that I've been working on and they haven't been released yet. This is the first time you hear them. They will be released at some point. I'm not going to tell when. I'm not going to tell what I'm what I've made them for. Hush hush. They will be released, don't worry. But some of them are pretty fun. And the choir again. And this is just simple chords. And nothing too fancy. I'm using Mu and Eos to give them more feel and presence. All right, let's have a look at from the start. I've used the Rainmakers and the Tonal Mallets. There are plenty of the Tonal Mallets that I've used here. They're, they're turned out pretty fun. I'm using Rough Rider to bring it in. And, and there's the EOS 2 again from Audio Damage. Really nice reverb. like it. And then I have the Seventh Heaven again, Ascent. And, and this, this is the, one of the tricks that I found really fun to do with it, that this sounds just uh, use the pitch bend to just make them sound weird and well i like weird then we have the neo shaman kit there's quite a lot of processing on it uh, uh, i've what I wanted to do with these is, is bring them more into your face. Uh, whoops. <clears throat> nah, not supposed to do that. Let's back up a bit. Okay, so we're... You, all of this is, 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 is bringing them more into your face. When you listen to it without them, you can hear they are actually... The, the percussion kit, it, it's actually pretty subdued. And then when you bring all of this in and it, it, it becomes quite a lot larger. Then we have the, I've used the bombs here. Just again, something to bring it out a little bit more. Pitch bent mallet and the really weird synth I have there is they work. It's quite fun. And we have the whooshes. I've used the one bar whooshes. The, you can actually make mini risers out of them. With the pitch bend gives you fun effects. And this this looped glitches. This this is one of my favorite patches that I made for the library. It's just small bits and pe glitching pieces of the loops that I created. 
and I've I've looped them over and over, and you, you can create all kinds of fun effects with it when using pitch bend, and it, it's so much fun to play with. I actually had to delete a little bit from here of that because I had too much of it, and it was turning out to be just looped glitches. And I have some saturation on the mallets, and there's also a long reverb again, and double reverbs. The seventh heaven is there as well, just to make an alarm kind of sound. Then I've the the bass wood mallet that I have here. It's 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 basically an 808, and I've I've enhanced it with boosted the bass and and then compressed it. And the, the track spacer that you saw there, the, that is working with the big kicks, that so that the kicks have space to work. Again, loops. I'm bringing them more into your face with this processing for each and every loop. I, I don't want them, this was a track where I didn't want them to be subdued. I, I wanted everything to be in your face. And that's tightening the attacks and pumping them a little bit and ought again, mag EQ4 again. This is a this, this is the kind of a combination that I use quite often. I like it. I like the results. And ought again to bring the kick, make it a little bit more crispy and bring it up. Forgot to close the browser. Let's close that up. We don't need that. So bring, the ought brings them in and then I have a little bit of saturation on them. A little bit, almost all of it that I can have from the instrument. More percussions. These have sort of a street percussion vibe. And then just this gong. And this is how it sounds again with everything. So here I have some some saturation and a nice delay. Just to give them a space and when you when you have the sounds on top of each other, the other has a lot of reverb and the other has delay and they work nicely. Not the only way to do it, but I felt that this was what was needed again. And again the loop glitches here, they they just fun effects. are doing they're, they're doing some heavy lifting here as, as they are basically the force driving most of this parts forward and then we have the redwood kit again it has ought to bring it in near face and you can see the difference that with and turn off, turned off and what's it on. I don't like to use it too much of it because then it just makes everything sound a little bit dull, but it sort of just brings it, everything into your face. loop slices again, tightened, so there you just get the attack from there and compress that, again, that there is in your face and odd, again, someone says that you can't overuse odd, yeah, you can overuse it, but 
by the hell. You're only doing something that's not that's supposed to be in your face, and you you go stuff that you stuff that brings it into your face. And this uh, now uh, here here I wanted to use this it's like it sort of have them double for a electric piano lost for words all right let's uh, have a look at the all of the tonal mallets now uh, pretty much this is all from a vocal beat and they they are most of them are designed and not natural. There are some, na uh, there are a few natural tonal patches there as well, but mostly they are designed. And again, sounds that haven't been released in the choir. on top of each other just a quick look at how they sound and what I've used I've used mostly I've used the full loops but there are some where I've used parts of the loops like the hat loops and some they, they're all divided in such so you have you have the full loops then you have the low sounds snares hats percussion that you, you all of them have can use what whichever part of the loop you want. Alright, let's rewind and listen to the full track. Enjoy. <laughs> 